Well, we've been talking about going to the phone lines and talking to Mandisa, and she's on the line. So, Mandisa, how's it going today? Hi, it's going great. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are excited uh, that you're able to take uh, a few minutes out of your busy schedule. My pleasure. Oh, so, uh, how, how are your holiday preparations going? You almost ready for Christmas? <laughs> It's so funny. I have no preparations this year. I'm not doing anything, which is kind of refreshing, you know, having been on the road so much. And then we start winter jam the beginning of January. So just taking some time out to be at home, it's really refreshing for me. Oh, good. Just kind of taking that time and just not doing anything. Sometimes yeah. that's the best. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Mandisa is part of the Winter Jam Tour, uh, Winter Jam 2019. Uh, you can find full details at our concert beat at yeshome.com. Uh, so, Mandisa, tell us a little bit about Winter Jam. What can we expect this year? Well, I'm excited just because it's the first time that they've ever done it in the round. So that essentially means that the state is going to be in the center of the arena and the audience is going to be all around us. That's that's really awesome. I mean, there's just something about being able to be that close to the audience. And as far as the audience is concerned, they're really not a bad seat because then no matter where you are, you're going to have direct access to the stage. So I'm looking forward to that. And then just the lineup. Some of my favorite artists are going to be on the stage this year. So as a Christian music fan, I cannot wait to see, you know, Newsboys, and Sadie Goki and Ren Collective and Ledger and it's just so many of my favorite artists that are going to be out there. Oh. Now, uh, if you could choose one out of the, the lineup to go on stage with and be able to perform a song, who would you choose to be on stage with out of the entire lineup? Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think because I've toured so much with Danny Goki, he would be the easiest just because I know all of his songs. I know the choreography that he does with his band. However, I'm told Duncan... I want him to teach me how to play drums on, he's got like a spinning drum set. Yes. So I would love that, especially, you know, being on that stage in the center of the arena with a spinning drum set. Like, come on, you can't really beat that. We did talk to Ledger earlier this week, and she was talking about how cool it would be if she got to go on stage with uh, Duncan and all the other drummers that are there. Yeah. And just yeah. everybody just does a, a drum thing. So maybe uh, maybe you can yeah. learn and then be a part of you know the big the big random drum collaboration. Come on, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> it should happen. This should be a thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, uh, Winter Jam 2019. It's always a great show. Now you have performed in the round before. I know you were part of like uh, the Women of Faith conferences, and didn't yeah. they do like a more or less a round stage yeah. for those? Yeah, they did, which is why I feel a little bit more equipped, you know, but <laughs> it's different because I've got, like, my band, um, and then I've got dancers that I bring along with me, and so it's a little bit different in that regard, so we're working through that, those logistics now. We don't we don't want people staring at our backside the whole time, so <laughs> that's Fair what enough. I feel very strongly about. Well, we are, we are super excited about uh, Winter Jam. Now, uh, you've got some, some great things going on in your life, some great things uh, that God is doing. And uh, we, were, we were talking on the air before um, you and I got, got connected on the phone uh, with some of our listeners today. Uh, we played the song God Only Knows from For King and Country. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've, you've seen their music video for that, but um, it deals with, it deals with uh, suicide, and the girl actually mm -hmm. in the video jumps off of a bridge. And wow. um, it's, it's just a very powerful video. It's a very powerful song reminding us that, mm -hmm. you know, God knows what we're going through. And I know that you have struggled with some suicidal thoughts, and uh, you had yeah. some friends step up in a very big way. Can you tell us a little yeah. bit about what, what happened with your story? Yeah. So my album before my latest, my 2013 album was, overcomer and it was inspired by my friend who was pregnant while she was battling cancer and so I that song overcomer it really was inspired because I wanted something to help her stay in the fight to the final round if you will um, and so when she passed away in 2014 it just kind of sent my life spiraling into a pit of depression that I could not see my way out of and it was through um, really the hands and feet of Jesus, which is us, with the people of God, that's who we are. They fought for me, and they chased me down, and they sent me messages, and they came banging on my door, and they followed me into a movie theater. Um, and they, they essentially had an intervention, and I probably would not be here today if they had not. So 
it made me realize the importance of community and people who will go chasing after you if you go dark. And I'm just, I'm so thankful to have those kinds of people in my life. Now, we do have um, a lot of our listeners who are uh, teenagers or they're young adults. And a lot of times as we we struggle uh, with identity is a big one uh, during that time of of adolescence. And so, you know, depression and anxiety just seems to be running rampant these days. And uh, maybe people aren't, you know, experiencing it themselves, but they have friends. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows somebody who's going through this. So uh, can you talk for a moment to the people whose friends are having yeah. Uh, these anxious and depressed thoughts and these yeah. thoughts of suicide, what should they do as friends? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I think never lose sight of the fact that your words are so important and that they really matter. And that even if you think they're falling on deaf ears, I think my friends would say that. They were reaching out to me and their text messages were going unanswered. I wasn't responding back to them and I wasn't... Um, picking up my phone and so they would leave me messages and to be honest I as somebody who was facing it I didn't want to hear it looking back I realized how important it was for me to hear it and every message that they sent me telling me that they're praying for me and every voicemail where they actually did pray for me and every time they reached out every time they knocked on my door even though I wasn't answering that reminded me that I was not alone and that there were people who loved me and never lose sight of the fact that that really matters and even if you think it's falling on deaf ears i promise you it's not they're hearing that and more than anything i want people to know your prayers matter sometimes because we don't see tangibly the effects of our prayers we think that maybe they don't have an impact but they really do you reaching out to the god of this world who knows every single hair on your loved one's head you're reaching out to them and lifting them up it has a huge impact and so never think that your words don't matter and that your prayers don't matter they they can have eternal implications on somebody's life we are talking to mandisa she is part of the winter jam 2019 lineup lots of dates and locations uh coming to our listening area you can check those out at our concert beat at yeshome.com thank you for being vulnerable man Disa, and kind of sharing uh, your story and some of the things that you have been through and uh, you know for for coming out of hiding we we appreciate that uh, that, that you didn't you. just stay behind that closed door but eventually yeah. you know whether maybe you came out kicking and screaming but you did and we yeah uh, yeah and that's I think the, the message I want people if you are somebody who's walking through that just a reminder that you're still here, that your heart is still beating and your lungs are still breathing, which means that God is not done with you yet and he is still writing your story. Now, uh, Mandisa, we we do, like I said, we appreciate the things that that you've been through because you're now able to take those and uh, and share something positive uh, with with people all around you. So we we just see Jesus working through you. Um, we are excited to see you on stage. We know that you know, in addition to encouraging people and uh, being vulnerable on your social media and things like that, when you put on a show, you bring it, and uh, we are so <laughs> excited. Uh, can you tell us? a little bit about your before you go just your most memorable performance of all time um no matter where it was or what you did what was one memorable performance hmm. i think um i think maybe speaking to you just about that season of life and coming out of it um every time that i've been on good morning america i've done good morning america four times now but this last time where i talked about the depression and the darkness that i faced and then being able to sing um unfinished and my song i'm still here on that national platform and proclaim that the best was yet to come Mm -hmm. i think that that is probably most memorable for me one because it was really proclaiming what god had done in my life but also because i know that it got the ears of a lot of people who are facing that kind of a, a depression and a darkness and i believe that it gave hope to people too i think that's one i'll always remember oh. well thank you so much for spending some time with us today uh, would you mind praying for our listeners sure absolutely Father, I thank you for your presence that we're two or three are gathered, that you're in our midst. And I thank you during this season where we celebrate your birth, God, that for anybody who is facing that darkness, that it is a reminder that you came to bring us light, that because you died for us, because you lived for us, because you who flung the stars into the sky at the sound of your voice, who swept yourself up in swaddling clothes and came to this earth to set us free. Lord, would you um, remind us of that and of your presence and of the fact that it's because you came that we have life. 
Lord, I just pray that you would remind you listeners today that you have a purpose and that you um, have a story that is still being written. We thank you for that, and we give you all of the glory and all of the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you.